Hello everyone, this is the second video of API management with MuleSoft series. The goal of this series is to introduce you to various aspects of API management you can do with any point platform, regardless of where your API is built and running. In this video, we'll see how developers can discover and catalog APIs that are built and running outside of any point platform. It's challenging to catalog and keep track of changes when you have hundreds, even thousands of APIs within your organization. Instead of manually adding each API specification to any point exchange with any API catalog CLI, you can automate cataloging and save time. With the CLI, you can identify all APIs in the project directory structure to create and update a descriptor file, set up publish triggers and asset versioning, Publish cataloged APIs to any point exchange as part of your CI/CD pipeline or custom scripts. For today's demo, we have product catalog API and product inventory API, which are deployed in Elastic Container Service in AWS. The API specification and the application code for both are stored in a Git repository. The APIs are currently not visible to rest of the IT organization for reuse. Let's see how we can incorporate AnyPoint API Catalog CLI to the CICID pipeline so that we can send the specification information to AnyPoint Exchange when the applications are ready to be updated. In Visual Studio Code, the directory with the two APIs is open. Create descriptor command generates a descriptor file containing the information AnyPoint Exchange needs to catalog the APIs. API Catalog CLI will then go through the directory, including the nested folders to find the API specification files, such as YAML or YAML files, and output the descriptor file that has the API definition file name, asset ID, asset version, and API version. You can also manually include documentation, tags, context, version strategy, and publish trigger information. If more APIs are added to the directory or changed, you can run update descriptor command to update the descriptor file automatically. Once the descriptor file is updated, you can automatically publish and update the catalog by including any point API catalog CLI in the organization's CI/CD pipeline. This is a GitHub Actions pipeline, which includes publish asset command. When the changes are committed to the Git repository, APIs are published to Exchange automatically. Now, let's go to AnyPoint Exchange. Here, we can see the two APIs. When we drill down to one of them, we can see the documentation we added to the descriptor file, as well as the auto-generated documentation from the API specification. By taking advantage of AnyPoint API Catalog CLI and AnyPoint Exchange, Documentation and sharing of APIs can be simple and automated, providing universal visibility to any API in any environment. In this video, you saw how you can create and update a descriptor file for cataloging in AnyPoint Exchange, publish API specification to AnyPoint Exchange as part of CICID pipeline, view the catalog APIs from AnyPoint Exchange. In the next video, we'll show you how you can govern API specification cataloged in any point exchange.